Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. How you all doing today? I pray that you had a wonderful, wonderful day, such as I, because I've had a wonderful day. It's been, uh, weather's been kind of damp, but other than that, I had a wonderful day. I'm still alive, I'm still healthy, and I'm still loving on. The, I'm still loving and serving God. Now, what more can you ask for? I got a wonderful family that love me. Amen. So that's nice. And I pray that you all are happy and feeling good and excited just like I am. Anyway, thank you all for, this is Pastor Larry, New Life in Christ Jesus Church. Here in Sacramento, California, we've been praying and interceding for the last couple of days. Amen. And and uh, and today, I guess we all understand why we need to pray more and intercede more. Because of the uproars that is going on, the uh the rioting that is happening around us. Amen. I've never seen America do this before. But that's always the first time for everything. Okay. But anyway, we're going to keep praying. We're going to keep believing God. That God's will will be done. And we're going to, inter we're going to intercede for the people of the land. Amen. We're going to be interceding for the people of the land. But anyway, I really, I really appreciate all you, all you uh, intercessory prayer warriors. I appreciate how you uh, are taking a bold stand in spite of everything that's around you. You're taking a bold stand to pray, Amen. And uh, and that's really, that's really exciting to see that the children of God they are not uh, being hindered or blocked by any of the circumstances or the things that is going on around us. Because, you know, we serve a good God. And uh, He wants the best for us. He wants the best for us. So I want to encourage you, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of what you're going through, amen, that God, He's 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 with us. He has never left us alone, not one time. And we are confident in Him. Our confidence is in Him. Amen. It's in Him that we live and move and have our being. It's not in our own self. It's not in what we can do. It's not in what we can accomplish in ourselves. But it's what God is doing in us and through us. Amen. And so I want to encourage you guys to just be strong and know that God is who He said that He is. And that He's working on our be and He's working on our behalf. He's working on our behalf to bring about the changes that we all desperately need, amen, in these last days. How many of you know that a change will, when, when, when God began to work a change, it just changes everything. When God began to work a change, it changes everything. And that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's good. Changes, not too many people really ready to adapt to change. A lot of, too, not too many people like change. Amen. And I know that for a fact because uh, when we had to uh, to move our church from one place to the, the next, uh, the people didn't like change. A lot of people didn't want to follow because they don't like change. They, they, when they get settled down in one area, they want to stay there. They just want to camp out. Amen. But change is important sometimes. Sometimes we need to experience change in order to see where God is leading us. See, change is not always bad. Change can sometimes be good. Amen. I'm just, uh, just give me another minute. I'm working on something right here. I'm trying to get this, uh, this Facebook up. It's, keep, it's not, it's not doing what it's supposed to do right now. So just give me a second here. Let me get it up and running. Because this is one of the, uh, the tools that God has given us to use. And we wanted to, to, we wanted to be a part of, of everything else that we're doing. Okay, so it's it's been with us it's been with us for a while and now we want to keep it we want to keep it going. We want to keep it going. Amen. And it don't want to act right right now. And so let's do something else. Just give me another second here. Let me put this back 
Let me put this back. And we're going we're gonna to be sharing with you in just a minute. Just give me a second here. We're going to be sharing with you in just a minute. I'm, I'm not going to keep you long tonight because this is a Friday night and and my wife has already indicated that she wants me to come in and spend some time with her. And uh, and so when 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 it's time to spend when it's time for family time, they don't like me to waste. Fam they don't like me to to put off family time. Family time is important. Sometimes family time is the best thing you can have. When nothing else is going right, at least when things are going good at home, you can still sit back and be happy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, it's uh it's all about it's all about adapting. Change is all about adapting. It's all about making good at what you have. You may not be good at what you're doing, but you can make good at what you have. God is always gonna do what's best for us. He's gonna give us he's gonna he's gonna give us the best that he has for us. Also. Amen. Glory to his name. Well, as soon as I get this thing up and running, it look like uh, yeah, here we come. It's coming up now. It's coming up now. Glory. Yep. Amen. <laughs> Well, praise the Lord. Glory to God. Everything is starting to come on down. It's starting to work. It's starting to work. Just give me another give me another minute. And we're gonna be we're gonna be uh moving right along. It's all about it's all about doing it the right way at the right time. Tell the Lord to give you Tell the Lord to give me hair. I got plenty here. You want some? You want some of my hair? I'll give you some of my hair. <laughs> Tell the Lord, to give me hair. <laughs> yeah. He gave me plenty hair. You don't like my hair? <laughs> oh God. Amen. Well, let's just pray. Let's pray. And let's go ahead on and get started. Because I know that some some people are <laughs> just weird. <laughs> some people are just weird, you know. And ain't nothing you can do about it. They, it's, just, it's just who they are. They can't help it. <laughs> and I'm not going to let it bother me. <laughs> Amen. All right. So, Father, we come to you now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Father, for this opportunity that you have allowed us to come together. We thank you, Father, that all things do work together for good to them that love you and for those who are called according to your purpose. Lord, we come not realizing, we come realizing that we can't do nothing in ourselves. We can't make it, but without without you in our hearts and our lives because when if we try it in our own strength we try in our own abilities we 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 mess up and we fall we've we, we we make mistakes but god you are perfect and, and there's no mistakes in you so we thank you lord god for this opportunity that you have given us to to spend time with you today and Lord we just give you all the glory all the honor and all the praise for what you're going to speak into our hearts today because we realize Father that it's in you that we live and move and have our being it's not in ourselves not in what we can do and accomplish in our own self Father because Father we put our trust in you hallelujah hallelujah so, Father, we bless you and we glorify you and we give you all the praise. And we thank you, Father, for all that you're doing. Now, Father, I release a blessing 
I release a blessing upon your men, upon your women, upon your children. Lord God, all of those under the sound of my voice, I release a blessing upon them, Father. God, and I give you all the glory and all the honor in the mighty and majestic name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and amen. Well, praise the Lord. Uh, yeah, we are. They, they there was a, a a lot of things going on today, and and uh, and looking at the internet, I see there was a lot of riots breaking out across the land, and uh, now I understand why the Lord want us to pray even more so than I did before, because you see, and the devil, he don't like losing, so he want to stir up a lot of. Uh, he wants to stir up some things to get the people's attention off of the true purpose. Amen. But I want you all to be, uh, to not to allow yourself to be disturbed or, or distracted about what's going on. And I know this is not something that that is normal. But the thing about it is that the enemy is trying to uh, raise up his head to and trying to interfere with what God is doing. Hey Amen. It doesn't matter who's in the office, folks. It doesn't matter who's the president of the United States of America, because God is still God, regardless of who's in the office. If it was someone else in the office, God would ask us to pray for that person also. Amen. But the one that, that that's in the office now, then just pray for the person. Don't it? Not, it don't make sense going out and tearing up buildings and knocking out windows and and people being put you know go been brought into custody being fined for 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 a, a, something that really shouldn't even be doing acting like a bunch of children <laughs> that's what it is they just they were cutting up like a bunch of uh, uh, undisciplined children amen and you know that's the world because see the world that's when they don't have their way they like to they like to put on a little tangents. They like to pitch. They like to uh, just have a, a, a fit, you know. Amen. And so, uh, but we know that uh, God is still in control. So I want you to be encouraged, and I want you to to to, to, to focus and pray more, pray more, uh, especially now that this now that uh, uh, President. Uh, Trump is in office, uh, you know, I know a lot of people didn't, didn't vote for him, amen, but it's beside the point now. The thing is that he's the one that's in the office now, and we have been commanded by God to pray for those that are in authority, to pray for those that are in authority, amen. And so let us let us honor God by doing what God has asked us to do, amen. And, uh, and in doing so, you're going to find out that you're gonna find out that uh, that that you you're gonna be more you're gonna be more uh, settled in your heart and in your mind. You're gonna be more at peace, amen. And and let's pray for a stronger union with uh, with with Israel and with the United States. Let's pray for a stronger uh, uh, a union with with you know with these two countries, uh, President Obama and uh, Prime Minister. Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, Nahu. Amen. And we're gonna we're gonna believe God for a stronger uh, union with the with these two countries. And and when that happens, folks, it's gonna it's gonna strengthen it's gonna strengthen every it's gonna strengthen our, our economy and everything that's around us. Amen. A lot of people have given up on America, but I'm not giving up on America because America was was found, was 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 uh, founded by uh, godly people. And I'm not giving up on America. That's that, true. There's a lot of things going on in America. But you see, if the people of God will continue to pray and and, and uh, seeking God's face, then America, even though it has strayed from God, and let me tell you something. I believe that America can can return to God. Can return to God. I just like just, I believe America can be just as strong as it ever been. But it's going to take all of us Christians, amen, pulling together and praying and seeking God's face together. And not just praying, 
but fasting and praying. That brings me to another point. On next Wednesday, which is the 25th, we're going to be fasting and praying starting on the 25th through the 31st for seven days. That's seven days. From the 25th through the 31st is going to be seven days. We're going to be fasting and praying for our nation, for Jerusalem, and for uh, and for the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Because there's a there's a lot there's a there's a there's a lot that need to be done right now. There's a lot that need to be done right now, and, and if we don't pray, no matter who's in the office, or pre, in the presidential office, if the people of God is not praying for whoever's in the office, you can't you can't complain about what happened. Amen. So pray and and ask God that God's perfect will will be done that that His will be carried out. No matter who's in office, amen. Let God be glorified in the land and in the earth and in your life. Glory to God. Let God be glorified because it's in Him that we live and move and have our being. God is not moved by who's in the office, amen. For all we know, it was God's choice. It was God's choice. And so to fight against whoever's in office, we could be found fighting against God. Amen. Fighting against the will of God. So don't fight. Just pray. Pray, folks. Pray and let God be God. Amen. God is calling us to repent. That is, that's exactly, exactly right. God is calling America to repent. As he, he is, and that's, this is one reason why we're praying. This is one reason why God has got us have us praying. See, America has strayed. America has strayed far away from God. Far away from God. You know, at, when 9-11 came in 2001, uh, the people, when that when those planes ran into those towers in New York, the people of God began to moan and cry and began to seek God's face like never before. Amen. And, and, and it was just like they was turning back to God. But in a month or two later, they were back on the same track again that they were before. Amen. They began to venture further and further and further away. And then Hurricane uh, Latrina came down in Louisiana. And then the people began to cry out to God again. Then once all that was done, the people started to uh, draw back to that old lifestyle that they always live. Amen. God has given us warning after warning after warning. And yet we have paid so little attention to the warnings that God has given us. God is calling us to repentance. God is calling us to seek his face. God is calling us to turn from our wicked ways. He said, then will I hear from heaven and I will heal you. I will forgive your sin and I will heal your land. Well, God is wanting to bring restoration to our land, folks, but it's going to take us praying and seeking the face of God. It's going to take us returning our, the Bible tells us in the book of Malachi in verse number, in verse number six, I, I think it says, return unto me and I will return unto you. So God is asking us to return to him. Amen. He's asking us to return to him. Now, I don't I don't I, I don't think it's strange that God would would, would would ask us this because you see for for us to be asked that that means we have we have strayed away from him and and are still straying, still moving off from God. And God is calling us, folks. He's calling us back to himself. See, God created you and I to fellowship with Amen. He created you and I to fellowship with. And when we when we and when when we return to God, then God is going to return to us. God is going to return to us. Amen. And we're going to behold his glory as of the glory of the only begotten son of God. Amen. God's glory is going to fill the earth once again, folks. Going to fill the earth. And what I mean by the earth, I'm not talking about Oh, that go brother Austin. He's done. He done made it in. <laughs> he's coming in with a with a big with a big hand out. Glory to God. Good to see you, brother Austin. Amen. God bless you. And so what we get, what we, what God is asking us to do? God is asking us to return to Him and seeking His face. Whenever the people of God turn away from God, the God always turn them over to their enemies, to their enemies. Amen. And so when we t return to God, God is going to bring us back to himself. Glory to God. 
P.S. Uh, MJ, God bless you. Good to see you. Amen. There are people joining us from, from different parts of the nation right now. Amen. They're just, you know, they're coming on. And I thank God for them. And people, we all, it doesn't matter what nation you're from. If you if you if you're from if you're from another nation other than America, then maybe God is calling you to pray for America, just like America is praying for your country. Maybe the Lord is calling you to stop interceding for America, Amen. And so don't don't think that you are, are listening to this program just because uh, it's the anointing is here, Amen. Pakistan is already. It's time for Pakistan to start praying for America. Just like America is praying for Pakistan. Amen. And so Pakistan people, they're, they're on the line with us right now. And, uh, and who else Who else on the line? Uh, that probably some from Africa is on the line with us right now. Uh, glory to God. And so we are, we're all in this thing together. We're all in this thing together, folks. And regardless of what it looked like, or regardless of what, what you may be going through, unless we are praying and seeking the face of God, India, India is, is, is on the line with us. Amen. Unless we are, are praying and seeking the face of God, we will never be uh, strong in ourselves because the Lord has never commanded us to be strong in ourselves. The Bible said, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen. Glory to God. And so when we look at this, we're thinking that we have to be strong in ourselves, and we have to fight this battle in our own strength. God has never called us to fight the battle in our own strength. Amen. Look at all those hearts going up. Oh, I love that. That just blesses my heart. Amen. To see you have joined us, and thank you. I really appreciate you over in Periscope. Amen. Glory to God. And uh, so God is calling us to return to Him. And the day when we saw, when I when I looked at the internet and I saw all these riots coming around, you know, going around in different states and everything, and I'm thinking, well, what are these people thinking? They thinking they can overthrow, they, you know, just because they they didn't get their way, they think they're going to make their own way. No, they're going to get in trouble. They're going to get in trouble. Amen. And I don't want that to happen. And God don't want that to happen. God wants us to get along. God wants to bring unity among us. God wants to bring peace among us. Amen. If we can't walk in love on earth, then what makes you think we're going to make it to heaven? <laughs> oh, glory to God. Amen. So let there be peace on earth and goodwill toward men, as the scripture has said. Amen. God loves everyone. You are exactly right, my dear sister. God loves everyone. And let me tell you something. God have a special plan for your life. I'm going to let you know that right now. God has a special plan for your life. You are becoming the lightsome land unto the Lord. And God's got a blessing in store for you. Watch and see within the next few days, you're about to be blessed. God's going to do something for you. Amen. And so I want to encourage each and every one of you to just pray for the people. Pray that God's will will be done. Amen. Forget about all this all this bickering. Forget about all this fussing and fighting. God said in his word that he loved us all. Know what the word says? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And know that he didn't stop right there. He said, he went on to say, For God uh, did not send his son into the world, to condemn the world. See, it doesn't matter where you are. God is then He's not coming to condemn you. Amen. All oh, my brothers on the line from Alabama, brother Andrew. Good to see you, brother. Amen. And so God is not coming to con. God is not did not send His Son to the world to condemn us. We might make mistakes, but He's not going to condemn us for our mistakes. You know what He's going to do? He's going to still give us the opportunity to repent for our mistakes. When we know that we've done wrong, when we know that we're wrong, then God is not going to uh, uh, turn his back on us because we made a, a mistake. He's going to give us the opportunity to repent for our wrong, to turn away from it, 
2017 can be one of the greatest years for all of us to experience God's goodness and God's grace. Amen. Because this year, starting this year, folks, you're entering into a, a seven year of God's supernatural blessing. This year marked the beginning of God's supernatural blessing. And folks, if you are walking with God, then your walk with God is going to become more pure and it's going to become more stronger. Amen. And going to be and become you're going to be you're going to be you're going to be uh, you're going to be a carrier of the glory. But if you are walking against God, your walk against God is going to become more darkness. Your life is going to be more going to be in more 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 uh, uproar. You're going to be walking in more confusion than you ever walked. And you're not going to even like your own life. Amen. For those that are not walking with God, you're going to be most miserable. Most miserable. Amen. But those that are with God, you're going to experience the peace of God that's a passive all understanding that will keep your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I want to encourage you all today. I want to encourage you all because I'm not going to stay long with you today. I want to encourage you that, the, that, that if you would just just uh, just seek the face of God and begin to pray for all those people that are rioting. You know, you see it on the news. You see it You see it on the internet. There's a lot of people that are rioting, you know, uh, starting uproars and destroying properties. Not even their own properties, and they are destroying them. And I'm asking all you intercessors, all you people that are, that are with us today, start praying for these people. They think they're doing right. They think they're doing right, but actually they're doing wrong. Who give them the right to destroy other people's property? Amen. Pray for those people, because they are they are hurt for some reason. They've been they, they've been they've been deceived, and they're thinking that they can make it better by going out and starting these riots. And that's not going to make it better. It's going to make it worse, because there's a price to pay when you tear up people's property. There's a price to pay. Amen. The darkness. Is come into the world and is messing with the people like I don't know what. So you, the children of God, you are the light of the world. You are the city that sit upon the hill. Amen. You are the candle that is placed upon the candle stand and not under a bushel. You don't hide your light under the bed. Amen. But you let your light set upon the candle stand where the people all around you can be able to see clearly. And this is what the world needs to see, folks. They don't need to see the church people following after the world. They need to see the church people following the light that lighted the world. Amen? Because we are the light that lighted the world. Amen? And that light came through Jesus Christ, the righteous one. Glory to his name. Amen? And so I want to encourage you. Pray for these people. And I know that it's not... It, uh, uh, I can't hear because of uh, uh, who's in office. I can't hear but who's in office. I didn't put him there. God put him there. You didn't put him there. God put him there. Amen. It was God's choice because God sets authority in position. It was God's choice. Now, let us do our part and pray for the one that God chose to be in office. Amen. Pray for his family. Now, if you want, if you want, if you want the peace of God to begin to rest upon your family, then start praying for the first family of the United States of America. Start praying for him. Start seeking God's faith for him. So ask God to give him wisdom and knowledge to to rule properly. Amen. As a good, as a good uh, soldier, Amen. God has commanded us to pray for all those that's in authority. Uh, let me just take, let me just get uh, take you to a, a scripture and just read that scripture to you, Amen. I'm just gonna read that scripture to you because you see, we we are to pray for those that are in authority. We're not to uh, start an uproar. We are we're supposed to pray for them that are in authority, Amen. We're supposed to pray for them that are in authority. Uh, this is uh, the NIV Bible. It says, I urge then 
first of all, that petitions, prayer, intercession, and thanks, thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings, for all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Amen. This is good and, ex and pleasant. This is good and pleasing to God, our Savior. Amen. That's the NIV version. Now let's turn to the King James Version. Amen. Because I like the King James Version a little bit. Because uh, I, I, you might think, well, I don't understand all those D's and D's and But I like that. I understand that. Amen. That's what I was raised up on. And so I have a, I, 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 I do have a, a, a heart to, to understand what God is saying to us. Amen. And uh, and when and when and when we when we get to that place, we want you to to know that that God, that God, he's he, he's still the same, amen. He's still the same yesterday, today, and forever. God never changes, folks. He's still the same. And so when we follow Him, follow after His goodness, follow after His righteousness, let us ex let us uh, uh, walk with a, uh, with the heart full of expectation. Because you see, this year, folks, starting this year, God is going to move supernaturally in our midst. Amen. God is going to move supernaturally in our midst. And those that are seeking the face of God, those that are walking up right before God, you're going to experience the goodness of the Lord even more. Even more. Amen. And those that are fighting against God, you're going to draw deeper and deeper away from God into outer darkness. Oh, my God. That's not a place I want to be found. Amen. But the word of God says in 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse number 1, it says, I exalt therefore, first, I exalt therefore that first of all, supplication, prayer, intercession, and giving and giving of thanks be made for all men. For all men. That including the one that is in, a, in, the, in the White House right now, folks. That including the one that's in the White House. In verse number two, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we might lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. Verse number three, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved. Notice what he said, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of of the truth. And what is the truth? That Jesus Christ is. Notice what it says, verse number five. For there is one God, one God, and one mediator between God and man, the man Jesus, the man Christ Jesus. So Jesus, he's the mediator. He's watching over the word of God to perform it in our life. And so God is looking at us and he's saying, and he's, and he's asking us, He's asking us in the book of Ezekiel, in the book of Ezekiel 22. Now you know, you know I'm going to have to go there because I'm getting ready to getting ready to walk out and getting ready to go to leave this place right now. But in, in, in uh, uh, Ezekiel 22 and verse number 30 said, "And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it." And he said, "But I found none. But I found none." Now notice. If the people of God are not praying, Ezekiel 22, 30, that's right, dear sisters. Uh, if the people of God is not praying, we're going to, we, uh, verse 30, it's not going to matter that much. Look at verse number 31. That's the one you don't want to see the reality of. You don't want to see the reality of verse 31 in our land today. It said, therefore have I, Poured out my indignation upon them. I have rec I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own ways have I recompensed upon their heads, said the Lord God. Now this part we don't want to see to become a reality in our day. Amen. And that's why we must continue to seek the face of God. And that's why I like what he says over in in Second Chronicles, in Second Chronicles chapter. And that uh, Second Chronicles, that chapter seven, chapter seven, and as look here, it's very important. And look at verse number eleven, Second uh, Chronicles, chapter seven, and verse number eleven. It said, "Thus Solomon fashioned the house of the Lord and the king's house, and all that came 
into Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord. And in his own house he prosperously affected. In verse number 12. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place for myself. I have chosen this place for myself. You see what I'm saying right here? For an house of sacrifice. When you are being called upon by God to intercede, and, and, and when God received you, you have been accepted as a house of sacrifice. Because you are the house of God, not the building. You are the house of God. Amen. You are the house of God. And look what it says in verse Look what it says in verse number number 13. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I if I send pestilence among my people, amen. See, all this is conditional. All this is conditional. Look at now look what it says in verse number number 14. If if my people see, because you see, if there's an if, that means it's conditional. You will either pray or you won't pray. You will either seek the face of God or you won't seek the face of God. Amen. It's your choice. God is not going to make you do it. He's not going to He's not going to force you to do it. You're going to have to humble yourself to do it. Amen. You're going to have to humble yourself if you want to see the hand of God in your life and in your family working up among uh, among you. Amen. Then you're going to have to humble yourself. Amen. Humble yourself. Look what it says right in verse number seven, verse number fourteen. If my people, he's talking about his people. He's not talking about he's not talking about uh, the people that worship different gods. He said, "My people." What, now, who is his people? Those that are worshiping God. Those that are are, are 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 have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. These are the ones that God is referring to right here in this word. Amen. These are the ones that he's referring to right here in his word. He said, if my people, he's not saying if the world people, he's not saying if the atheist people, he's not saying if the Allah people, he's not saying if Muhammad people, he said, if my people, my people, that means the children that are after Christ, the children that are following after Christ. He said, if my people, which are called by, notice what it said, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. See, you have to humble yourself. God is looking to you to humble yourself. Amen. He's looking to you to humble yourself. Now, it, whether you do it or not, that's between you and your God. Amen. But make sure that the God that you serve is the God that created you in his own image and after his likeness. Amen. There's a lot of people serving another God, which is, which is, uh, which was cast down from heaven. He thinks he's a God, but he's not a God. Amen. Satan is not a God. Amen. There's only one God. And his name is I Am. <laughs> what did he tell Moses to tell his people when he went in to send them into Egypt to, 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 to tell Pharaoh, let my people go? He said, tell them that I Am has sent you. Amen. Tell them that I Am has sent you. And every time you mention, well, who are you? Well, I Am. See, I my whenever I, when, whenever someone asks me, I am has called me, I am has sent me, I am is why I'm here. Amen. <laughs> Think about it. God is calling you to be the I am in the earth. To be the I am in the earth. Be the voice of God in the earth. Don't be an echo. Don't be a voice of the enemy. Amen. Be the true voice of God in the earth. And let the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one who have called you out of darkness, let him rise up within you and let his word become authority. Let his word become supreme authority in your life. Amen. Now notice, notice what it said. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, not only should you humble yourself, he said, and pray. Humble yourself and pray. Then he said, and seek my face. So we're not only humbling ourselves, we're not only just praying, but we are seeking his face. 
seeking his face. Amen. Glory to God. And then once we have sought his face, that's a it's time for a turnaround in your life. There's a turnaround that must come forth in your life. Amen. And it must come from within. It must come with, from within the heart. It must come from within the heart. Because from the heart, man speak it. Out of the abundance of the heart, man speak it. Amen. If it's not coming from my heart, then I'm a, I'm just a sounding brass or a tingling cymbal. Amen. But if it's coming from my heart, I am everything that God created me to be. Amen. Because I'm not I'm not moved. In my, I'm not being moved by my own by my own abilities. I'm not being moved by what I can accomplish in my own strength. Amen. But I am being moved by the word of God and by the will of God for my life. And when I'm and when I'm walking with God, my faith is intact. Because you see, I walk by faith and not by sight. I want you to know that as you begin to pray for these people that is rioting, you're going to release a spiritual force in the land. Because there's a force of darkness that is compelling these people. There's a darkness that is driving these people to do this. But as the children of the light begin to intercede and begin to pray for these people that are rioting, then you're going to see this thing begin to be quiet. The kingdom of darkness would not be able to stand when the children of God begin to intercede, when the children of God begin to pray for those people. Amen. Begin to bind up those wicked and tormenting spirits because that's all it is that folks, there's, there's the principalities and the powers that are, that are promoting these things. And God has given us power over all the powers of the enemy. He said, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You don't have to be afraid. Amen. To address the powers of darkness. Put on the whole armor of God. And having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your lawn girded about with the truth. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shone with the preparation of the gospel peace. And above all take the shield of faith. That you may be able to quench all the fiery dust of the wicked. Then take the heaven of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. And with all manner in prayer and supplication. Let your request be made known unto God. Let I mean just cry out to God. Seek his face, turn from your wicked ways and seek his face. And God said, yes, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. God will bring restoration, not destruction to our land. It's the devil that's come to steal, kill and to destroy. The enemy of God, that's his job. He's come to steal, kill and to destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Oh, I'm so excited because I know that the God that we serve, folks, He is alive. He is alive and He's right now interceding for you and for me. God is already on the scene, folks. And glory to God. There's an anointing starting to follow me right now. And I'm going to release that anointing upon you. Receive right now in Jesus' name. Receive the anointing right now in Jesus' name to intercede for these people that is rioting to intercede for these people that is that is causing these uproar. Now, Father, they have a leader, and that leader is demonically influenced. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against these demonic influences right now. We go into the spiritual realm. We cancel every demonic assignment over them. We come against the principalities and the powers right now. We command you to to. to to move back from your position. You will not gain no ground here. We command you to go now in Jesus' name. Release those people right now in Jesus' name. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over these men and over these women, over these boys and girls, Lord God, that is out rioting right now. <clears throat> they don't understand what they're doing, Father. They are operating under a spirit of deception. And Father, I'm asking you right now in the name of Jesus, that he that the Son set free is free indeed. Move, Father, by the power of your Spirit and set their minds at peace, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you. I praise you for it in Jesus' name. Because, God, you have not given, 
you have not given us a spirit of fear, but God, you have given us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. So as we intercede for these men, as we intercede for these people, Lord God, these men and women that are raiding, the riding, running the streets, tearing up things, God, we asking you in the name of Jesus to, to let the angels begin to roam the streets with them. Father, and let the angels begin to manifest themselves to to bring that, that, that peace and that tranquility among the people. Father, I bind up every wicked and tormented spirit. I bind up every satanic worship spirit right now that is roaming the streets in the name of Jesus. I bind it and I loose it from its assignment in the name of Jesus. God, you have never given us a spirit of fear, but God, you give us power over all the powers of the enemy. So, Father, I exercise that, that power right now with divine authority. I release my authority in word form, and I speak to those things, God, in the name of Jesus. I speak to those spirits, and I command them to cease their activity. Holy Spirit, I ask you to raise the standard up right now amongst the, amongst the body of Christ. Raise up the standard right now amongst the body of Christ and compel them to pray and intercede for these people. And I give you all the glory for it, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that you would not just be a, a, a bystander. I pray that you would not just be a, a observers. But I pray you become, that you become a part of the answer to those problems that are running the streets. That you begin to pray. That you begin to pray for those people. They don't know what they're doing, folks. It's a spirit of deception. It's blinded their minds to the truth. Amen. Pray for those people. And let God be glorified because of you. I love you guys. I thank God for you. Now, please remember to pray for them. And while you're praying, pray for me. Because I pray for you daily. And thank you all for joining us today. Again, my name is Pastor Larry Birkin from Sacramento, California. New Life in Christ Jesus Church. If you're ever in the area, look us up. We'll be glad to have you. We love you. Until then, God bless you. And don't forget to join us on Sunday for our live services. Uh, we'll be live on Sunday at Pacific, uh, 1230 Pacific Standard Time. Join us. Amen. Thank you. God bless you all. We love you all. Amen. 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 <laughs> God bless you too. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Amen, amen. Thank you here on Live Me. Thank you all for joining us. We'll, we'll talk to you again soon. God bless you. Bye-bye. And you here on Facebook. Thank you all for joining us. Alabama, I'm praying for you. God bless you. We love y'all. Bye-bye. Father, we bless you and we glorify you and we give you all the praise and we thank you, Father, for all that you're doing. Now, Father, I release a blessing. I release a blessing upon your men, upon your women, upon your children. Lord God, all of those under the sound of my voice, I release a blessing upon them, Father. God, and I give you all the glory and all the honor and the might. And thank you here on Spreaker. We thank God for you. And you have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.